making yourself unhappy is the worst thing that you've ever done to yourself. Yeah, a lot of times, our pain is caused by ourselves. We are not happy because of the decisions that we take, because of the choices that we make in our lives. We should very be careful on what we do to ourselves. We should very be careful on the things we do to ourselves. <laughs> Hello out there. Welcome back to Precious Life Coach. If you are a regular viewer, oh my God, thank you so much. I really appreciate the love and support. But if this is the first time of you visiting, please don't forget to subscribe. You're welcome to the Precious Life family. Today, I want to discuss about things that you should not do, things that you should not allow yourself to do if you really want to have a happy life, if you really want to be a successful person. Because there are a lot of things that we do to ourselves that set us back. There are decisions that we do that makes us not to grow in life. I am Dr. Bella Conte. I always say, be your own person. I normally say this because I want people to be the captain of their lives. I want you to be the person who pushes yourself. Guide yourself. Know the things that you should do to yourself. There are some certain ways or there are some common things that we should really try as hard as possible so that we shouldn't do it. There are a lot, but I will share with you some common tricks that you shouldn't do to yourself if you really want to progress in life, if you really want to have a successful life. Number one, procrastinating. What is the meaning of procrastination? It is the act of unnecessarily postponing decisions or actions. You keep on postponing what you're supposed to do. You know it's really important for you to do the stocks, but you postpone it for no good reason. If you don't know this one, let me say this to you. Putting off task or responsibility can lead to increased stress or missed opportunities. If you have something to do, do it as soon as possible. When you keep on postponing it, you increase your stress. And being stressed all the time won't make you happy. It will disturb your healthy life. It will disturb your success. Because if you don't do what you're supposed to do today, how will you be successful? You're delaying your success, my dear. So, if you're guilty of always being procrastinating, please avoid it today. Number two, negative self-talk. Constantly criticizing oneself can be detrimental to self-esteem and overall well-being. Stop criticizing yourself. Stop talking negative things to yourself. For example, I can't do this. Nobody likes me. I'm not beautiful. I'm not worthy of this one. I'm not capable to do this. I can't do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can. Don't be your own negative person. Don't be the person that pushes yourself behind. Be the person that motivates you. Don't allow negativity to set you behind. Don't be the person that hold your success. Stop talking negative things to yourself. When I was much younger, I was guilty of this. I was that person that normally looks at people like they're better than me. I thought she's smarter than me. 
she's more beautiful. I can't do that. So I was scared of failure. That's the reason why I was that kind of person. But now, unless I say I don't want to do it, but anything that I want to do, if I really want to do it, I'm going to do it. Because I am the person that motivates myself. I am the person that pushes myself to be your own guidance. Stop holding yourself behind. It's not healthy. It won't make you happy. It will also delay your success. Number three, holding gorgeous. You holding into hunger and resentment can interfere into personal relationships and happiness. My beautiful people, please let it go. Stop hurting yourself. Stop disturbing your happiness. When you hold gorgeous, you are the one in pain. The other person is going on with his or her normal life. It's not affecting them, it's affecting you. So practice to let go. Practice to forgive. When you forgive, you're not doing it for the next person, you're doing it for yourself. Because the, the, the pain, when you forgive, you're lifting heavy burden from your heart. So try your best not to hold gorgeous. Try your best to be a happy person. Try to be good to yourself. If you're guilty, practice. Sometimes it's very difficult to let go. But when you practice, you can do it. Yes, you can do it. Number four, over exhorting yourself. Neglecting self-care and pushing yourself too hard can lead to burnout and health issues. Do what you know you're capable of doing. Don't push yourself too hard. Take care of yourself. Do things that will make you happy. Do things that will make you laugh. Take care of yourself. If you're not healthy, if you're not happy, you are not going, you will, you will not be able to do something good. You will not be able to do something productive. So your health is important. Your happiness is important. Number five, overspending. Not living within your means and accumulating excessive debt can lead to financial stress and instability. Live within your average. Use what you know that you can earn. Stop wasting your money on unnecessary things. If it's necessary for you and you can afford it, it's good. It's good to live a, a better life. It's good to live a fancy life if you can afford it. But if you can't, do what you know you can do. Spend what you are able to spend. To our number six, avoiding personal growth. Resisting change, learning, or trying new experiences can improve personal growth and limit opportunities for self-improvement. I want you to know that these are general suggestions. And it's important to make decisions based on your own values and circumstances. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have some suggestions, please comment below. I appreciate you a lot. Don't forget to like the video and see you next Sunday. I love you all. I'm Dr. Bella Conte. Bye.